What's up guys, Dr. Critic, and today we are reviewing Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. So this movie was released in 1989 and stars Donald Pleasance and Daniel Harris. And Don Shanks is Michael Myers, of course. So the opening scene of this movie comes right after ending to part 4. Jamie had stabbed her stepmother and Michael had fallen down a shaft. This time, I actually th show them throw dynamite in the shaft. But Michael escapes, of course, because sequels and stuff. Then, Michael swims away and is cared for by a hermit until Halloween night, 1989. Then, he awakens and goes to find his niece, who is now a mute, and is basically sharing psychic links with Michael Myers. So let's get this off the bat. This movie sucks. It is awful. I really didn't like Halloween 5. It's one of the worst horror movies I've ever seen. One of the worst movies in the series by far. I despise it. I think it was stupid and dumb. I mean, it gets even worse. I mean, the mask is okay. I, I like fours a little bit better, but ugh. then I mean Donald Pleasant saves it, and so does um um Daniel Harris, and she saves it too. But other than that, this movie's awful. I think that it fails a lot. It was rushed because they didn't even have a completed script. They was came out the very next year. It is one of the worst horror movies I think I've ever seen in, in my life. Alright, I'm going to get my rating out of the way, and then we're going to do into spoilers. I'm giving this film a 15%. It's really bad. I really didn't like this. I feel like they could have done so much better. Then the Thorn Curse gets introduced in this. That means... Halloween 6 comes, like, five years later. Actually, no, six years later. Oh, my God. So awful. So, basically, the Myers house does change in this film. There's another issue I want to talk about. It changes from a little house to a gigantic mansion. I don't know why, but it's one of the actually really big changes in this movie. Another thing is that they were saying that Michael has finally been unmasked for the first time. However, this is actually a complete lie. See, Michael has been unmasked before. And it was in the first film, no less. However, he does get unmasked in this film as well. But they were lying when they said it was the first time because it really wasn't. Guys, that's all for today's video. Please subscribe.